this lesson, we are going to evaluate some more exponential and logarithmic expressions. For example, we have 5 to the x equals a and 7 to the x equals b. We want to evaluate 35 raised to x. In order to evaluate this, we just have to write this in terms of 5 to the x and 7 to the x because we have the values for these expressions. Take note that 35 to the x can be written as 7 times 5 raised to x. And using properties of exponents, 7 times 5 raised to the x is the same as 7 to the x times 5 to the x. We were using the fact that a times b raised to m is the same as a to the m times b to the m. Since 7 to the x is equal to b and 5 to the x is equal to a, this is the same as ab. Next, we want to find the value of 2 to the 8x if 16 raised to x equals 5. Our goal is 2 to the 8x, but our given is 16 to the x. Take note that 16 can be expressed in base 2. 16 is the same as 2 raised to 4. And then copy x. This is 2 raised to 4x. But remember that our goal is 2 raised to 8x. How can we achieve 2 raised to 8x from 2 raised to 4x? We can achieve that by taking the square of both sides. 2 raised to 4x squared is now 2 raised to 8x and 5 squared is equal to 25. That is the answer. Next, we want to evaluate ln of 8 over 9, but we are given the values of ln of 2 and ln of 3. We want to express this in terms of a and b. How do we express ln of 8 over 9 using ln of 2 and ln of 3? Remember that our goal is something like this. We have ln2, ln3, and some coefficients here. So first, we write 8 as 2 cubed and 9 as 3 squared so that we will have our ln of 2 and ln of 3. Next, we split this up so that we will get ln of 2 and ln of 3 alone. This is ln of 2 cubed minus ln of 3 squared. Let's get rid of the exponents by bringing them down. So that's 3 ln 2 minus 2 ln of 3. And we are now ready to substitute the values. ln of 2 is a minus ln of 3 is b. For our last example, we are given log of 2 and log of 3. They are equal to a and b respectively. We want to find log of 12 in terms of a and b. So again, just like what we did in example 3, we want to express this involving log of 2 and log of 3 only. And how do we do that? By splitting this up. But first, we have to make sure that 2 and 3 appears here. 12 is... 4 times 3, but 4 is 2 squared times 3. And we can now split it up as log of 2 squared plus log of 3. Let's bring down the exponent so that we just have log of 2. And therefore, we're ready to substitute. Log of 2 is a, so this is 2a. Log of 3 is b. What about logarithm of the cube root of 4.5? What is 4.5? 4.5 is 9 divided by 2. Correct? I wrote it as 9 divided by 2 so that my 3 and 2 will appear. This is log of the cube root of 9 is 3 squared over 2. This is log of 3 squared over 2 raised to 1 third. 
I will bring this down first. So that's 1 third log of 3 squared over 2 squared. And we are now ready to split that up. That is logarithm of your numerator. 3 squared, I already put that 2 here. Minus log of the denominator, which is 2. So therefore, this is 2 thirds log of 3 minus 1 third log of 2. In terms of A and B, this is 2 thirds B minus 1 third A. Or 2B minus A all over 3.